by far this this pull is in my nightmares and let's just let's just crush it void eruptions here let's kill him 75k healing per second we had a perfect timing on our shaylin's gift like oh i love it I, that's why i love keystone so much like straight up you can just see yourself improving like two weeks ago i would have never i would have never gotten that timing down but i've actually done like quite a bit of practice so i'm really happy we nailed that yeah, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. After a little bit of begging, I finally got invited to a 20. It is another Shadow Moon Barrier Ground. I, I hope I can do more later, but this is what I get invited to for now. This is a two chest of a, of a, of a plus 20 where we absolutely just own the dungeon. So uh, all of my builds are in the description below, but this is what I use in my Mythic Plus. I don't really see anything else changing. I know that some people use Chi Burst. I actually really like Chi Wave. Um, and then, yeah, if you see anything you want me to try or do or use, like, please let me know. I feel free. Uh, but this is what I run. As far as damage and healing breakdown, this is my damage breakdown. Rising Sun Kick, of course, number one. This is your biggest damage slash healing cooldown, if you want to call it a cooldown. Spinning Crane Kick, really good on bigger pulls. Uh, usually, I use Spinning Crane Kick on three or four or three plus mobs. And then Blackout Kick, of course. You're using your Tiger Palm Kicks to get your Blackout Kicks with this talent right here. The Teaching the Monastery. So, again, a lot of cleave damage from your Blackout Kicks and Tiger Palms. Uh, as far as healing goes, this is my healing breakdown. Again, Ancient Teaching is going to be your number one heal if you're focusing on doing damage. Renewing Mist, Vivify, Essence Font, uh not bad i think vivify is actually really solid 88k crit too it's also mostly instant you're only using this when you have the instant vivify available um, and then renewing mist is pretty much i don't really press it that much because you're using the rapid diffusion talent so every time you're rising sun kick you get a renewing mist out and uh yeah if you have any questions at all please let me know i am very happy to finally get a plus 20 done i'm very very happy so if you have any questions at all please let me know i am more than happy to answer any questions you might have and that's it for me hope everyone has a fantastic first day hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you later. Today I'm bringing you another Shadow Moon Burial Grounds. A plus 20 this time. Took me three days to get invited to this key. All right. I'm not, I wish, I wish I was kidding. Took me three days of just spamming trying to get this dungeon. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, two chests of 19 and then just couldn't get invited to a 20. It's kind of, I don't know, but hopefully we can time this key. This will be my first. I think I think they still I, I was told that they still do the portals, right? So <clears throat> we are obviously fist weaving. So smashing people. That's pretty much the name of the game. Uh I don't wanna die. You know, I got I got invited, it took me a while to get invited to this. And uh yeah, my, my talents are in the description below as well. Um it's fortified, raging, whatever the other one's called, quaking. So fun. So fun. I love it. I love when I have to stack with everybody, but then I need to spread out. It's so great. But hope everyone's having a great day. Um, I just watched the MDI. Really cool. Really really sick games. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's always cool to watch the MDI. Nice to see it on Twitch again, too. Cry of Anguish. Obviously, just don't stand in the purple. Or you can stun it. That's fine, too. Um, as far as damage goes, you want to keep your ancient teachings up with either... Feline, Feline, not Feline, Feline Stomp or Essence Font, whichever one. Doesn't really matter. I mean, obviously, um, Feline Stomp costs less mana. So, min maxing, obviously, if you have Feline Stomp, Feline Stomp available, you want to press it. Raging, just going to kill things ASAP. Good. <clears throat> Fort Week really isn't too bad in this place either. The, on the only hard pull in this whole place is the to void things before the final boss. I mean, that's pretty much it. And then, I don't know. I've had people lust on that. I've had people not lust on it. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, as long as you're able to kill it. I think if you have cooldowns, you zerg one down, you should be able to get a kill. I'm just going to melt here because I really don't know what's killing us. So, little little spiders, I guess. We'll just spin to win. <clears throat> oh, yeah, any pulls bigger than, like, two or three, I normally just spin. Uh, you do a ton of healing with your failing stomp. And ancient teachings so i'll try my best to explain mechanics as we go on throughout the dungeon normally before pulls i'll throw an about mist on my tank because you're using rising mist so you can keep extending it with your rising sun kick and you get a nice heal from it as well so we're going to use blackout kicks here we're just going to sweep everything and normally i'm just going to spin here just keep spinning don't get too dizzy just spin to win avoid mechanics if there are any you probably want to kick that shadow mend nice kick from the dragon I use mine too there, right at the tail end. Um, dispel this. And we should be good. 
Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We can also Bayline Stomp here and just crank damage, which obviously results in more healing. Yeah, just spamming damage, spamming healing. Tank's kind of taking a little bit from the raging. Good, cleared that. We should be okay mana-wise. I don't really run out of mana that often, mostly because Ancient Teaching is pretty like mana efficient, so you shouldn't have to worry too much about mana. Um, I also have Shailene's Gift. I'm just going to go for it right here straight off the rip because I have 10 stacks. I've had it for a while now. We do get crit, which is huge. We also hero here. All right, we're going we're gonna to Feyline Stomp, and we're just going to... My God, we're going to do so much damage here. I bet I'm out damaging the tank right now. No joke. We're also Chigi here, because why not? Big. Don't envelope on the Shadow Priest just because. Dark Communion, probably want to swap to over here. Kind of sucks that I'm out of my failing Stomp. Get one stack with Fey Line and do damage over here. So I do get an extra Blackout Kit going. Get some mana back as well. Big damage. I have Todd. Press it. G-Wave. G-Wave, pretty solid for when you need to uh, kind of get... Some damage from range. Stand in the little white circles. A wall here. Also, there were a little Shailun's gift at the end here. Get a buff. What do we got? We got bonus healing here. Spread out. Doing some damage. I'll dampen harm this. I also probably revival this too, because why not? Byline stomp. And we're gonna do some damage here. Big damage. Big damage. Where's the Shadow Priest? Shadow Priest is here. Got a third envelope mist on the tank. Uh, Dark Communion, we want to swap here. Okay. Throw it out. We do have Chi-G now. I'm going to hold my Chi-G. When I did 19 of this, I used my Chi-G like right before a Dark Eclipse. Probably don't want to do that because you can't hit anything. So we're going to wait until our Dark Eclipse here. Stand in our little white circle. I thought it was going to happen. There we go. Um, and then we'll probably just Feyline Stomp. And I'll send a Chi-G out as well. Oh, I almost just went out too early. Oh my god. I got a little excited there. Big damage here. Throwing Veltmas on myself. Keep cranking. Diffuse, uh, diffuse magic here. Velt mist on the Shadow Priest. Throw an Essence Fawn out. Big healing. Blackout kicks. Cast now after the uh, Quaking. Throw a Shailene's Gift out. Dark Communion. Swap to the Ad probably. We could probably CC it if you want. Like, If we wanted to, we could probably just CC it. I have in cap and Sweep and all that, but... Can't really get to him right now. Wrap this as well. Okay. And we do damage here. And we probably go to the Warlock. Hellstone as well. And we get the kill. Nice. Got a little dicey. I feel like I got a little... Got a little, little I was getting a little claustrophobic towards that. Look, look at that gate for efficiency. I love what I'm seeing here. Love it. Cocoon here. Oh. Big damage. We're just going to spin. Yeah, we're in our failing stomp. We're going to Rising Sun kick off cooldown with Thunder Focus T. Kick that. And we're just going to literally just spin to win. Spin everything. Sweep. I don't have kick for that. I actually have Rop in four. So, yeah, big damage. Big damage. Failing stomp. Spin. Keep spinning. It's going to tot it. Kick that. Spin. Probably should go for some mana after this. I haven't been, I didn't blackout kick much of that pull, so I feel like that's the reason why. Uh, I'll just go for a little quick sip here. Shouldn't be too bad. I feel like we're doing like pretty good damage though. I feel pretty good. I feel good. I love being able to do damage and like contribute to the dun. Oh, what's going on here? What? What are we doing? What is going? Oh, my guy's like watching me get mana. He's putting a little pressure on me there. You know what I mean? It's getting a little weird. I was kind of just taking my time. I'll, I'll cheat you here as well. All right, let's go. Uh, we're in our Feyland Stomp, so we can just spam Envelop Mist here. I'll kick the Death Blast from one of them. All right, nice. Someone else got the other one. Blackout Kick here, getting an Instant Melt Mist, throw it on the Shadow Priest. And we're just going to keep spinning. We do have the Shadow Priest Warrior or Warlock. So hopefully one of them wants to clear. Yep, there we go. Thank you, friend. Throw an Envelop Mist on myself. And we're going to just do damage here. Throw some Blackout Kicks. Kick that. And we just do damage. Good. Good. Again, you're prioritizing your rising sun kick. Um, this guy's just throwing gates out. I love it. <laughs> it's like the third gate he's done. I love it. I freaking love it. Uh, someone pulled, though. It's okay. I, I freaking love it. The spirit's there. You know what I mean? This boss uh, actually doesn't have too much going on here. Uh, really, probably the easier 
boss in this place. Uh, please kick. Oh my lord. Oh sweet baby Jesus. Um, yeah, not much is going on. Oh, I need to swatch my. That's why I don't have my mouse over macros. I have a separate action bar for PvP and PVE. So this one has all mouse over macros. You see, I have my renewing mist down on everybody right now. That's kind of what you're trying to do. You can keep extending it with your rising mist. Planar shift. You just want to get out of the uh the blue circle. I'll manatee here in essence font as well. And then we can just kind of crank damage. Uh, soul steal. He's going to steal your soul. You want to kill it. I'm just going to tot it uh, because I can. <laughs> That's right, baby. That's the Mistweaver way. We'll also send it a little Chigi here. We're going to clear. Throw an Envelope Mist out instantly. Do damage. I do have a Shailun's Gift. The one thing I am trying to improve upon and something I would like to definitely get better at is to like use my Shailun's Gift pretty much off cooldown or whenever I can. Um, I feel like there's a lot of times where I have a 10 stack Shailun's Gift. Like right now, I've had 10 stack Shailun's Gift for so long and like there's really nothing to use it on. I, I mean, maybe it's good to just hold on to it for when I need it, you know, not waste it. But like, I don't know. It feels weird to hold on to it because the buffs are actually decent. I need to do some damage here. Avoid the purple circles on the ground during uh, Void Devastation. Oh, oh, and I got you. I got you. Don't, don't you wall. Don't wall. <laughs> I got you, my friend. Void Blast. Don't stand in front of the boss when he casts that. Void Vortex. I think you're going to have to not... You're going to have to run away. Uh, where's the... Oh, Soul Shred is in 15. So, like... I don't know. I'm actually going to have to kind of crank this boss. All right. Cleared. We're chilling. We should have a soul shred. Soul steel. All right. We actually have to kill this thing this time. Good thing we're misweavers and we're just built different. Let me tell you something. We're just built diff. All right. Big damage here. We'll soul this guy. I mean the shadow priest. Oh, everyone's here. Whole squad rolled up. Good. Throwing about missed out. Rising sun kick to extend it. Essence font here. Throw instant vivify out. Instant vivify. Don't say it often, but bread and butter really good to weave those instant enveloping mists in especially when it's like an awkward there are there are times where i found myself with a little bit of downtime um when i'm fist weaving so you just want to make sure that you uh you know whenever you're in those situations don't you know just use an instant envelope mist or instant um vivify kind of helps you fill those gaps of nothing sweep everything we're just going to spin here we actually have a failing stop here and we're just going to crank Yep, that's right. Believe it or not, kick that. Big damn oh, this is a big pull. Alright, calm down. Calm down. This is a, this is a pretty big pull now. I think we're gonna go for a buff here with uh Shailun's gift. Give me crit. Alright, we got healing here, which is good. Alright. I don't wanna s I don't wanna like uh I'm gonna shadow my there in case I'm taking any damage. Oh, kinda just took some heat there. That's alright. Took a void bolt there, still doing damage. Kick it. I'm going to tell you something. I love the crit buff. I'm not going to lie. I freaking love that crit buff more than anything. I got it on the first boss. I loved it. Um, we're just going to try to kill this guy. Um, again, we're really destroying this dungeon. This is probably one of the easier of the dungeons that you can do, I would say. This and Quarter Stars, I think, probably one of the easier like the easier dungeons you can do. Uh, Halls of Valor, actually, I used to think it was bad, but I think I was just bad in Legion because like, I actually enjoy it. it. It's a long dungeon. Don't get me wrong, but like, it's not terrible um 30 percent mana going to this pull we should be fine uh we'll just throw a mana mana to essence font oh please kick that oh <laughs> a little close there but we could spin here we're actually gonna cheat you here as well dispel and we're gonna we're just gonna crank yeah that's all we're gonna do throwing about missed on the tank as well that's just rally dispel the poison uh we're gonna kick the necrotic thing from the corpse spider instantly kicked it instantly no one, no one else has to worry about it. Clear here. Okay. Good. Perfect. Well done, Todd. Done. Good. I'm gonna try to drink here because it kind of like there's like really quick pulls in between these next few pulls, so uh, I don't want them to wait for me. Thirty percent mana should be enough. If I blackout kick enough, I should be we like we should be fine. Um, I'll kick this one instantly. Kick it instantly. Please kick that one. Good. I ha don't have revival, so if one of those goes off, it's gonna be uh, a little trouble. I'm not gonna lie. We might be able to get through it, but it'd still be some trouble. Big damage, big damage, big damage. Uh probably spin here too, because there's a little little buggers, but I think they're all dead now. I don't have nameplates for the little fellas. I don't. So I, I I don't know if there's a way to make I guess there probably is a I can make two separate profiles for PvP and PvE. 
and like swap them. But like, I'm lazy, man. I'm lazy. <laughs> uh, we should be able to get, I should be able to kick this uh, corpse spider on the next necrotic burst thing. Got it. All right, good. Kick that. Perfect from the warrior. We're absolutely crushing this dungeon and I love it. Um, no crack plague spit. Nothing I can do about that. Got kicked as well. That's actually not good. Manatee essence font here. Failing stomp. Healing elixir. Sweep everything. I'm going to go with a little, little shaling's gift here. Boom. What do we get? We got healing. Good. Spin a win. We're just spinning. Kick that. I think I try to be a hero by like trying to get a kick. It's just not worth it. Probably better off just dispelling. But we got the bonus healing here. So we should be, should be okay. I would hope. Dispel. Thorn of Upmost on that. Uh, in 10.0.7, I read that uh, Thunder Focus T is going to make Envelopment Mist instant. So that's going to be really, really good for Fist Weaving. I think it's going to be really good for PV, like Mythic Plus. I think it's going to be really, really good. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to make the rotation a lot smooth because you you at that point, you're probably not going to have to cast at all. Like they were, they're, The only reason I cast now, I guess Shailun's Gift, but... Shaylin's gift to doing some weird things, man. They're doing, they're adding another talent. I, I don't know what's going on, but I don't know. Uh, I'm going to try to drink here before this next pull because normally people like to pull straight into the next boss. So I'm just going to get some mana. We just pulled the bats as well, so this shouldn't be a big pull. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to try to drink as much as I can. This should be fine. I don't want, you know, I don't want to wipe because uh, I'm all the way in freaking Chinatown over here and no one can clear with me. So we're going to do damage. Uh, everyone looks like they soaked. We're doing well, doing some damage, of course. Uh, using my Tiger Palms to get my Blackout Kick st uh, stacks. Unleashing them when I'm Rising Sun Kick is on cooldown. Try to get off cooldown. Essence Font if I don't have Failing Stomp. A uh, little fun fact, you actually Essence Font and Failing Stomp, and you get two Essence Fonts that you can extend, which is pretty cool. If you ever need that bonus, like, spread healing, or if you're trying, if you're predicting a bunch of damage is incoming, and you want to try to maximize your healing output as much as you can, it's pretty good. Damn. We'll just kill that guy, but okay. Uh, we got the third boss here. We got Bone Maw. Thank you, everybody, for commenting the last time. Um, apparently, I need to stand in the pool. Oh, we're hearing here. Oh, wow, okay. I need to stand in the corpse breath before he breaths. And then I can... And then we're fine. <laughs> All right. Not behind it. Oh, don't stand in it. Don't throw. Okay. It's getting a little dicey there. Tiger's Lust, get away. All right, where's the breath? It's a spit. It's fine. Doing a lot of damage. All right, Corpse Breath, we want to stand in it now. No, oh, okay. No, that's that's just the thing. All right. Is he going to do it? I, I feel prepared for this. Like, like, you ever prepare for a test and, like, you're ready? Like, let's do it. Like, can you press it, please? I guess we're just doing a ton of damage. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Oh, this guy hasn't done Breath once. Okay. I hint it. There it is. There it is. We are in. We are prepared. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Look at this. All right. Yeah, there isn't much going on here. We're really just doing damage. Thunder Focus T, rise, uh, Rising Sun Kicks to maximize our damage output. Try to build up our uh, Blackout Kick stacks while we're doing that um, to maximize our Rising Sun Kick damage. And that's pretty much it. Oh, hello. Hi. Where's my Warlock? Oh, my God. Okay. Everything was going so well. Everything was... We were chilling. All right, we're going to hit the mobs. All right, that's fine. Throw a little, little big damage out here. Inhale. Got here. Wall from my Warlock. I need to clear with the dragon. Revive with the dragon. Okay, are we chilling now? Experience All right, yo, thank you for the follow. I, uh, yo, Snurps, I appreciate it. I'm actually recording right now. That's odd. I'm actually recording. I'm not streaming, so I do appreciate it. It's always funny when that happens. I love when that happens. I appreciate it very much. Uh, dodge the body slam. What are we doing here? Who do I hit? Yeah, we're hitting this guy, right? Okay. Uh, we'll do a little Shaylin's gift here, too. Go for the buff. We got healing here. Todd? All right. Let's focus on the boss now, all right? Where's the corpse? Get over here. Try it. Try it. Watch yourself. Oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yep. Welcome to uh, my my uh, Mythic Plus channel where uh, 
not everything goes perfect. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, some, uh, some dungeons I don't play on most. Some I don't play perfect. You know, we just do our best. Obviously, we're pugging. <laughs> so uh, that's the best we could do. All right. And let's kill this guy. Good. It's clear. Let's go to the next. Good. All right. We're doing pretty good. We're not getting three chested, unfortunately. Damn. Not three chests in this one. That's okay, though. This pull, again, very similar to the other one. I'm just going to pick one to keep kicking. Kick that instantly. Um, oh, we silence it, too. That's fine, too. That's fine, too. I'll sweep everything, too. I'll dispel. And then let's just keep keep doing us. Uh, spin a win here. Cut quite a few mobs here. Failing stomp. And, uh, yeah. No, we're doing pretty good. The next pull is the one pull that gives me nightmares at night. So I'm trying to save all my cooldowns for it. I really would like to not have to use a single cooldown for before this next pull because it's it's going to get a little dicey, I would say. I do need mana though. Let me get some mana. So this one is gonna, this one's a rough pull. A lot of AoE damage, a lot of health on these big boys. So we're going to do our best. We do have a nine stack of Shailene's Gift, so let's just do our best. And that's all we can hope for. That's really it. Let's uh we're gonna it looks like we're gonna focus this one. And uh let's do it. Failing stomp here. Void pulse, that's what we're looking for. Let's go to Shailene's gift here. Nice, perfect timing on that Shailene's gift here. We're gonna cheat you here too. Throwing about miss on myself here. That's all right. That's all right. Throwing a vote mist here. Essence font. Raging is going to hurt. Dampen harm. Void eruptions. Just kill. Todd. Got it. Good. Well done. Well done. I got you. I got you clear. Yes. Doing 70k healing per second here. By far, this this pull is in my nightmares. And let's just let's just crush it. Void eruptions here. Let's kill him. 75k healing per second. We had a perfect timing on our Shailene's gift. Like, oh, I love it. I, that's why I love Keystone so much. Like, straight up, you can just see yourself improving. Like, two weeks ago, I would have never, I would have never gotten that timing down. But I've actually done, like, quite a bit of practice. So I'm really happy we nailed that. All right. Now all we have less, le uh, 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 all we have left is the final boss, Nurzel. He's got a few mechanics. I'll try to explain as a... Explaining the mechanics actually helps me. Malevolence, you just don't want to stand in it. That's that's literally like the main mechanic of this guy. Just don't stand in the purple. Um, and then you have that thing that it'll target people. You just want to make sure you, you kind of cut it away from people. Um, and then Ritual Bones is the other primary one where he's going to summon these skeletons. You got to focus one down. And that way you can get like a trail or a uh, like a path. And if you get hit by the cloud, you're pretty much dead. You're going to take a really massive time. I mean, you could bubble it, you know, but, you know, I'm better off just, like, killing them. And then make sure that you just don't you know, be careful because I've had situations where I thought I was safe and I thought I was away from the cloud, but I wasn't. So keep that in mind. Very scary. Again, Shailun's Gift here. Or Shailun's Gift. Um, Feyline Stomp. A lot of damage. Trying to throw Renewing Mist whenever I can. Uh... That's that's the fight, yeah. That's that's the fight. So nothing crazy. We're gonna keep avoiding. I'm gonna Shailun's gift here. Get a buff. Boom. We got bonus healing, and we're just gonna crank. It's if Shailun's gift is really good value. Like on boss fights, I swear it's actually so good. We're gonna cheat you here too because we're taking some heat. Throwing vote missed out. Essence font here. Gonna go for Feyline stomp. Feyline stomp. That's right. Throwing instant vivify out. Spinning crane kick. So I get instant vote missed here. Uh, we gotta pick one. We really got to pick one. I could Todd. 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 Yes. Good. 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 Okay. Whew. It's getting a little scary there. I always I always feel like this boss gets a little dicey towards the end. So we're going to just keep it, you know, keep it, keep our cool here. Keep our cool. You know, this is a 20. It's a, you know, it's a big one. It's a big step. I'm going to throw an Velt Mist on the dragon. Throw an Essence Fawn out. We do have a six stack Shailen's Gift if we do need it. Um,. Feel like we don't need it right now. I, I lied. We need it right now. I'm going for it. Let's get the buff. Damage reduction and haste. Really good. Manatee here. Essence font. Uh, I do have a. I actually do have a feline stomp. That's my my fault. And we're just gonna keep doing damage here. 
I don't see the need to press my Chiji here yet just because there's not much damage going out. Nice Malevolence goes the other way. It's always awkward when you're trying to go through the path and like they Malevolence it. So uh, building up damage here, Chiji here, Malevolence, be careful. And we're going to just throw an Envelopment out here. I'm going to throw it on myself there just because I feel like my tank has like every cooldown. And we do have Revival back too. Feline, Feline stop. Cocoon, just do, do damage, my guy. Just do damage. Focus up. Let's get the kill. Nice. Let's go. Well done. Well done. Oh, that feels good. That feels good. We destroyed that dungeon. Of course we got no loot. Why would we?